Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install FortiGate image, FortiGate firewall image on the G, on GNS3. So one of the requirement is to have the GNS3 application running. As you can see, I have my GNS3 application running here. Another requirement is to have GNS3 VM running. If you do not have that, I will leave a link on the description part of the video that uh, let you know how to install each application, right? Okay, so without any further ado, let's start. Well, in the previous video, we learned how to download and install Cisco IS router image, layer three switch, and layer two switches. So for, 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 a, for part of a, a complete infrastructure, we need a file and indeed a FortiGate file. And how are we gonna download that? I already have those images on my Google Drive, okay? And I'm going to share the link on the description part of this video or the first comment. So I have FortiGate, which version? 7.4.2, right? All right, so I'm gonna share that uh, um, link on the description part of the video. Or the first comment, don't worry about that, okay? All right, so how do we download and install a 40K firewall image on Genesis 3? I've already downloaded it from my local machine. So now let's install it. How do we install it on Genesis 3? So ensure you go to browse all devices, okay? Then you get this uh, window here, right? Then just click create new template. And always ensure install a plan from Genesis 3 server, recommended, okay? And just go next. We need firewalls. Click on the firewalls and scroll down until you see 40 gate. 40 gate QEMU, okay? All right, then click install. Pretty much simple. Installer plans or GNS3, very important, okay? Click next. Leave default and click next. And here it is, here it is now. And which version do we want to install? We want to install version 7.4.2. So just click on the first version, you see, and create a new version here. And name it .2. Perfect. Then it asks you, what's the name of the HD head disk image? Well, this now is a very important part. You will come to your uh, to, to, to your local machine, okay? You see? You'll come to your lo local machine, all right? And um, after coming to your local machine, this is the image that we want to install on our GNS3, just ensure you copy the file name exactly the way it is, okay, and replace here. I just paste the one that I've copied and just click OK. And ensure the empty.30g.qcow name matches here. You see, this is the same. It's, this is the same. Or what you can just do, you can just also copy it, copy that name, and replace it there, okay? And click OK, all right? Pretty much simple. Do not uh, overlook that step, okay? So here is our, here is our, uh, the version that we've created, okay? So ensure this name here matches this name. And this name here, dot qcow2, matches this one, okay? All right, so just come and click this one, all right? And import, import, import whatever was there. This one, the similar, uh, the, now the image now, import the image, okay? All right. Perfect. Now what you've remained with is that .qcow2. Also click on .qcow2. On the version that you created, remember we created, we we, we duplicated 
Um, we created a new version called version 7.42. Now click on .qcow and also import this one. Perfect. Perfect. You don't need to overlook that step. Very important. And after you've uh, you've actually uh, imported, just click on that new version. Click next. And uh, would you like to install Fortigate Firewall? Yes, I would like to install it. Perfect. Now here, it's telling us the template will be available in file directories. Usage. Default username is admin. There is no password sent. So it, it, this is just a guide that Fortigate, this one, and above require this one, okay? So this is Fortigate version 4. Point, uh, I mean 7.42. So it also directs us that 40 gate versions higher than 7.2 trials trial lenses is very restrictive, not recommended for use. No problem. So remember this, 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 this we're just going to use it for testing purposes. And normally the lenses expire after every after every one month. So after every one month, we're just going to repeat the same process. We're just going to import it again. Okay. Right. It's not that much a big job. Okay. All right, just click finish. Okay, so you see our Fortigate firewall is here. Right, perfect. So what we need to do, let's just drag it here again. Okay. And uh, connect it to our router here. Perfect. And what do you need to do now? Just start the Fortigate firewall. After starting the Fortigate firewall, maybe let's give it some time to boot up, then we'll come back, okay? All right, so it's pretty much simple. The steps are actually um, very straightforward. Perfect. Now we have our uh, Fortigate firewall here, okay? So we were we were we were advised that the password I mean the username is admin, and the password is blank. Okay, all right. So we just hit enter, and it asks for a new password. I'll just use admin again, admin again. Perfect. Now we are able to do the configuration on the FortiGate file. Pretty much simple. How to download and install FortiGate firewall on your uh, Genesis three application right okay so thank you so much guys and uh let's meet again in the next lab thank you